Hey y'all, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something to show you. This is of the Pan-Asian four foot um, hanging scarecrow sold at Home Depot for 2020. Uh, another one of my Home Depot props I just snagged. Um, I got this off of Skull Crane's website because I need to order a bunch of stuff and I want to get the free shipping so I just threw it in there because I also do need some scarecrows for my filler theme, um, which is a pumpkin patch. This is a pretty cool item, one that I did want to get when I went to Home Depot, and this was one of the few things they had left over. Um, not nearly as detailed as the prototype, which also by Panation. Um, and that's just talking about the scope, but still also really cool. Um, another spookier, creepier item from Panation that's a little, little edgier. Not really too terribly spooky, because it does still say stay on the family friendly side kind of but this is a really neat item uh, i think he went for like 50 bucks i don't really remember the price these actually went for i don't even remember how much i got it off of franco <laughs> but i got it for a pretty decent price and enough that i could get my free shipping and also have a cool new prop to add the other two items were two some were two some were two skeletons that i were getting for projects um, I might share those later. Oh, you'll see them in the haunt. I don't know. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to say about this guy. He just lights up and makes noise. Now, if you've not seen my prototype video, which I highly recommend you check out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. He has this really cool audio, which I said I think is unique and I've never heard before. Well. Uh, no, because he has it too. Uh, which is that kind of SVIS, like, whoa, that's not terrible. But that SVIS, deep, hearty, Mike Reynolds laugh that we all know and love. Um, best example is like Pumpkin Patch Prowler. It sounds a lot like him. But he has it too, which is pretty neat. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. The clothing's pretty cool. This is like inflatable material like what you would get on um, inflatable and then this is great creepy cloth and cheap fabric uh it looks cool i do like the costuming on this one i do like how it's not just overly bland he's got like a jacket on and like a little undershirt he's got some patches i do like that uh i don't really have a lot of cons oh actually, i actually do have a really big con you cannot access the battery compartment so I'm gonna have to cut a slit through here so I can get in there because I cannot, which was, I think either a design flaw or just mine wasn't made right. Either way, I don't really care. It's a fixable issue, not that big of a deal. So without further ado, I will get on with the demo. Uh, I believe this is also sound activated too, but I'm not gonna fight to get, I'm not gonna try to get to that switch. I'm sure when he's on, he goes to two different like rotations like the prototype does. Um, I'm guessing because it's Pan-Asian. But there you have it. <laughs> Just a light up spooky scarecrow. Uh, I wasn't really fully thinking, I, was, I didn't think I was gonna get this prop. And it's not like one of those, oh, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, I got a gold prop. It was just, if I didn't get it, I didn't get it. If I did get it, I did get it. And I did get it. <laughs> so. That's what's pretty nice. I really do like him. I think he's a really solid prop. Again, he's going into a smaller um, filler theme. If you saw my haunt videos, all tiny. I don't really think it showed the pumpkin patch that much. It just showed um, Flaming Scarecrow. But it's, it's just a smaller, more compact theme. Um, really just to fill up some space by the house. It's where I start decorating with the pumpkins. And then I just add these guys on Halloween night. Actually, they, I had some the day before Halloween, if they're not animated, which, because this is, he's going Halloween night. But yeah, overall, I do recommend this item. If you were looking for a smaller hanging de decoration for some farm theme or you just like scarecrows, if you find it for a decent price, I'd say go for it, because he is pretty cool. I do believe there's some of these guys left in stock. If there is, I'll leave a link to the item and also a link to, again, Franco's website. 
Again, thank you, Franco. I do really like this item. And also, kudos to that amazing overnight shipping. I mean, that, thing is, that shipping is great. So with that, have a good day, guys.